on KCCC Kids. I'm so excited to see you. Last time we were together, we talked about Palm Sunday. Did you find all eight crosses that I have hidden in my lesson? Way to go, good job. Well, it's Good Friday and Resurrection Sunday time. It's Easter. And you know, at Easter time, we see a lot of things like cute little bunnies, which bunnies are really sweet and they represent new life, especially in the springtime. But you know what? The Easter bunny really doesn't have that much to do with Easter, does he? No. And another thing you see are a lot of eggs. We use eggs at Easter time because they also represent new life because what comes out of an egg? Cute little, cute little birdies, right? And they represent new life. And once they've hatched, they leave behind an empty shell, which reminds me a little bit about Jesus because he died and came back to life and then he left behind an empty tomb. So, when we think about Easter, you got to wonder, what's it really all about? Can you tell me? You're right, it's about Jesus. Easter is all about celebrating that Jesus died on the cross and rose again for us. Believing in Jesus and celebrating his death and resurrection is the most important thing. And here's the reason why. Everyone was all messed up with this sin in our lives. But God, because he loves us all so much, sent us the perfect solution to provide for the forgiveness of our sins once and for all. And that was Jesus. He died on the cross and three days later, he rose again. And just like that, our sins are looked after. Death couldn't hold him back. A big stone in front of his tomb couldn't stop him from leaving that tomb and coming back. Jesus is alive and well, and he loves you so much that he gave his whole life for you. Today you have an opportunity to give your life to Jesus, to receive forgiveness for the punishment of your sins, so you don't have to. Jesus took it all. So just repeat this prayer after me. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus because you love us so much. Thank you that he paid the punishment for my sin and provided for my healing in every way. I believe that he died for me and rose again. Now Jesus, I want you to know that you're my Lord and I want to follow you forever. Thank you for, for living inside of me today, tomorrow, and every day into eternity. Thank you, God, for this amazing love that you've given me. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, congratulations. If you prayed that prayer for the first time, then you're a child of God. Yay! I hope you have your communion items ready. Remember, that was part of your assignment from last time. If you need a minute, just press pause and I'll wait for you to get your juice and bread. All right, so did you set your juice out nice in a cup and your bread on a little plate? We're going to wait. Be patient because we're going to eat and drink all together at the same time. You know, Jesus told us to remember what he did for, for us, that he died on the cross and rose again but he told us it was important for us to do it with a pure heart and, and with no unforgiveness in our heart. So let's pray before we begin. Heavenly Father, I ask you to check my heart. I don't want to have any unforgiveness or any ungratitude in my heart at all. I want to be a grateful person and I want to choose today to forgive anyone who's hurt me, even if they don't deserve it because you forgave me when I didn't deserve it. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for dying on the cross for me, for forgiving all my sin. 
and for being my healer. I want you to know I love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's have a look at our communion items. Let's just go over them really quickly. The bread or your cracker is gonna remind us of Jesus' body that was hurt so that we could be healed. Isn't that great? And his blood that he shed on the cross, this is red juice, reminds us that he forgives all of our sins and washes our hearts clean. And that's amazing. So let's get into our communion. Jesus told us to remember him. And we're going to look it up in Luke chapter 22, verses 19 and 20. Then Jesus took some bread. And you can take your bread in your hand. And he thanked God for it. And he broke it. And gave it to his disciples. Then Jesus said, This bread is my body that I am giving for you. Do this to remember me. So as we eat the bread, we're going to be thinking about how Jesus hurt, was hurting in his body so that we could be healed in ours. And in the same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup and said, This cup shows the new agreement that God makes with his people. This new agreement begins with my blood, which is poured out for you. Thank you, Jesus. And Heavenly Father, thank you for sending your son Jesus to die on the cross for us. That his body was broken and hurt so we could be healed. And that his blood was shed so we could be forgiven. So that we could have new life with you today, tomorrow, and every day into eternity. Lord, help me to follow you with all my heart. I'm so grateful for what you did for me, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. That was great celebrating communion with you.